Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers Eurasian water milfoil. So Eurasian water milfoil is another invasive species. It's an aquatic plant. There's over 80 water bodies in the state of Vermont that have Eurasian water milfoil established in the lake. Eurasian water milfoil is a, a pretty bright green plant um, with kind of a, a reddish brown tinge to the leaves and sometimes the stems. It can grow up to fairly deep water, 18 to 20 feet, and it will usually reach the surface of the pond. It has kind of fluffy little leaflets that are whirled around the stalk of the, or the stem of the plant as it grows up to the top that will often culminate in a, in a puffy bright green tip that will often be tinged red or brown. So Eurasian water milfoil is a fairly aggressive plant species in the way it grows. It starts growing at a uh, much lower water temperature earlier in the spring than native plants, so it gets a head start and as it grows, it can shade uh, the sun from other uh, native aquatic plants so that they don't grow as well um, or as thick. What we do see a lot is uh, that it impacts uh, recreational activities like boating and swimming around docks just because it grows so dense and so thick in certain situations. Eurasian water milfoil, but when it gets to certain densities that it starts interfering with things like boating and swimming, there are certain control measures that can be implemented to reduce its density. One of the very simple ones is using what's called a benthic barrier. It's just a mat, usually rubber, and it prevents the milfoil from growing up through and it kills the milfoil that's underneath. Another uh, program that has been done fairly widely in recent years in Vermont is chemical control. And that has been done and shown that it has some success on a short-term basis. It's not cheap and again it doesn't have really long-term benefits. So the best thing to do is just prevent it from uh, arriving into a lake that doesn't have it through aquatic invasive species spread prevention measures. To prevent the spread of Eurasian water milfoil uh, from one lake where it currently exists to other lakes where it doesn't yet, uh, it's really important to um, take what we call clean drain and dry spread prevention measures. For more information about Eurasian water milfoil, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.